Hello everybody, it's Samu here again. The last episode, we supposedly got everything we needed. We sent out some signal for Johnny John John to have the urge to go to the moon. Just kidding. He didn't do it at all. And then they tried their hardest to get him to think about the moon even a little bit and he was just like okay i'm you guys need to leave so they took a little nap and by they i mean probably just neil watts because it looks like rosaline has just uh been sitting out here all day which is not what you should be doing on a job when you need to go to sleep so she's going to be fired but we're going to continue onwards. Also, part of this tree is missing. As you do. A void. Can we... No. Are you going to fly away? You're just... Nope. Okay. Cool. Excuse me, bird. Are we going back in? Are we leaving? I was trying to leave. Better go and see if Nail has any ideas. Okay. My bad. Back inside we go. Ah. You can smell that squirrel. Neil ran over all the way from here now. Um, I tried to go out to it. Okay. And I was interrupted. And told to come back in. So. Thank you. I mean, we have free reign of the house again, so I'm just gonna do like a little wanderoo. Bit meh. I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Take a fucking nap. Shh. Let them. Let them sleep. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, no, I thought I saw something there. I did not. Hello? Click on it. Uh, we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. The fuck was that? Did you see that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think this meant to be down here. Spooky? Gave me a little spooky fright. Um, let's place the book on the shelf. Cause we're just, we're just nice. We're nice like that. Uh, but we cannot put the other book away. Okay. And then we're gonna turn the lights on cause that's what you do to kids. Are you sleeping? Oh. Turn it off, you giant doofus. Yeah, you owe me a beach ball. Um, what? How are you sleeping, children? Fine, we'll leave it off. Oh. Hi, ma'am. Are you gonna sit down? Mm, you are, and now I can't talk to you, so I guess... There went my moment. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Come on. Do, 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 do. These are times. Yeah. Come in here. No. I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh! Damn. Are you speaking with headquarter? Yes! I'll fill you in after. Now shh! 
sir. I if you mm. take his coffee, take it. Can you take it? But what if? <sighs> okay, I suppose so. I was going for this though. Wait, isn't this? Where did you find it? In the lighthouse before we started. Now for the last time. Shh. Right. That part we can do. The last paper rabbit River gave to John. Can I have it? Okay. Hmm. I, I see, I see. Right. That part we can do. Uh, why are you sitting in the dark, creep? Can't take his coffee. Didn't offer us coffee. Just rude. Rude. Okay. I could speak to you, but we're just left that on his head. I mean, you know what? Actually, what does it matter? He's not going to remember. He's dying, so. How many times am I going to click on it? Go! Casual painting of three people, so I guess this is Johnny John John, maybe, and, uh, Isabel. And the other guy. Mm-hmm. Painting of an animal of some sort. Holding something yellow and blue. That's the wharf. The lighthouse. Da da da. Just gonna scoot on over here, don't mind me. I'm checking out the bathroom. Turn the light on! Sometimes, Rosalind, you just make me think that this is just a chore to you. Hello, ma'am. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Um, I'm not, actually, because I already found him, and he didn't offer me any coffee, and he kept telling me shh. So, um, I think he can just sit in there by himself. I heard him making phone calls in there. <laughs> me too. I guess I'll just go back to the kitchen. But not before I come... Come on, we can do it. Let's go. Oh, we're doing it. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh! Was there something you wanted to ask? Ooh! You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well... A few years ago, my husband passed away. Let me just get all up in your business. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do. And eventually, I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, I, he was glad as well. We're gonna miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. So what are you gonna tell them about John? I... I don't know. I... I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. 
This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and leave on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm gonna miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. To who? 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 How? Where is this house going when he dies? Okay. No more questions, ma'am. You are free. You are free to leave. Oh. Hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Okay, anyway, bye! Time to go assault Neil in the kitchen, drink his coffee, drink his coffee, hi I'm back. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Bam bam. Bam bam. Dang it. <laughs> Apparently during his youth, he was administrated a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers? Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with? And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earlier memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So, what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? Uh, but just one thing. Of course. There's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. Trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John, for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah. Back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Are you leaving your coffee? Can I... Can I have that? Can I... Can I... No! <clears throat> Forgot my coffee. Bastard! A note on the beta blocker! What about my coffee? Where did he get it? That's so rude! Go outside and beat him. Beat him for his coffee. Uh, beta blocker is a drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. I see, I see, but you know what I don't see? A coffee made for me. Hmm? Where is it? Sir, where do you think you're going? That's right. <gasps> it smells! But barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Ava. It smells. I know. It's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. 
It was the same smell. Oh, girl, please. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? Um... What? He... He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for the memory recall. We could use it as a stimulant to bridge his... childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is still unconscious, he's still susceptible. Uh... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, you j you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wh wait, <laughs> why would I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly, I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, uh... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Thank you, Lily. Let's bring the dead animal in to the home. <laughs> They're... <laughs> they aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Thank you. How was your coffee, Neil? Would you like to share? Would you like to share your coffee? Those gloves look... <laughs> Those gloves look good on you, dear. Oh, shut your mouth. Are you just gonna stand there? At least go monitor Johnny with his doctor. Nah, uh, I'll pass. Watching someone wither away helplessly just isn't my cup of coffee. That you could share with me. Off you go now. We don't have all day. I have all day for that fucking coffee that you don't share. Just make sure the gloves don't get anywhere near this house afterwards. Um, Lily, I hate to tell you, but we're bringing the dead animal inside the house. With the smell. Okay, so what are you implying? Rosaline, take her gloves off? And then carry it in with her bare hands after? It looks like she's wearing little ice creams on her hands. I just thought I would share that with you. Oh yeah, there you go. The roadkill will have to come in though. Oh god. Here I come, Dr. Rosalind, going to get a dead squirrel on the road. Hope I don't barf on top of the squirrel, cause that would ruin the smell of man. Oh my god, I'm being assaulted. Huh. Deja vu. Little flat ball. Making our way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Down we go. Can I examine the car? At least it stopped smoking. It did, didn't it? Hello, little squirrel. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infested roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It at least make it uh, uh, it at least make its odor controllable. Okay. Get in the valve to control the odor. Don't know how that works. What is that sound? Oh my god, okay, bye. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. The bathroom was right next door. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Oh, let's see. 
Oh, she littering. Ah, here it is. Received valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Are you gonna pick that bottle up? This... Painkillers? Ibuprofen? For swelling migraines and nausea? Who can- who could possibly have headaches in this time and age? Ugh. Received contained roadkill odor. I don't want anything more to do with this. <gasps> we didn't even need the gloves! What did you do with the gloves? Wasteful. Coming back up. With a smell of squirrel. Do, do, do. I cannot run. Why are all the birds watching me? Can this. Y'all need to calm down. Hello. Oh! Hey! Didn't expect to see you here going to get the dead squirrel that I asked you to get. Did you get the room kill? It's ready. Oh, great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil. These painkillers. I think they are yours. Well, if they're not yours and there's only two people in the car, hmm. Hey! May I ask, why are you on them? I wasn't gonna tell you, but... <sighs> this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You... just walked into a wall, like that. What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. It was a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil. You weren't... Addicted. Are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of contrived mess. It's to control the birds. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. It's gonna be stinky. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sold off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. Or anyone else in this room. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there. Good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Oh shit, we sinking? <gasps> Act 3! They shine their lights at each oh, they shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Let's go. Um, we won't go. Oh my god. Okay. We can have- we- can we... 
I could have sworn I saw like a little magnifying glass, but that's fine. What, whatever. We are our own person. Anyway, we're going to end it here because uh, it's already been almost 30 minutes. In the next video, we will travel even further back in time in our short time that we have left with Johnny John John and see if we can finally get that stuff situated and maybe find out some things about Neil and his super ibuprofen. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.